climate change and global warming with more severe droughts cause land to degrade, deserts to spread, and temperatures to rise in a vicious cycle. That's why Desert Control strives to make Earth green again with our product, LNC, liquid nano clay. 12 million hectares of green and fertile land perish to droughts and desertification annually. That's three times the size of Denmark and enough to feed 100 million people. Growing water scarcity magnifies the challenge, making this vicious cycle one of the greatest threats to life on Earth. Our solution is LNC, liquid nano clay, a compound that can turn sand into fertile soil, increase soil and crop resilience, and reduce water usage by up to 50%. 20% of Earth's green and productive areas are lost already, making restoring and protecting exposed areas an enormous market. Now, our vision is to make Earth green again, and to really realize this dream requires sustainable, positive cash flow. Therefore, our first customers are landowners with properties that require irrigation, such as golf courses, parks, resorts, where the... Uh, lower water bill will pay for our product and free up scarce resources for better use. Our value proposition is simple. Make arid land fertile again and reduce the water needed to maintain and sustain a green world. The technology is tested extensively in arid areas and desert areas and we see results firsthand. It's scientifically validated and patented. Our business model is to treat land areas for a fixed price per square meter. Moving forward, we have multiple routes to services and subscriptions with annual recurring revenues driven by data and AI. For a landowner, the payback period for LNC is less than two years based on water savings only. Additional benefits are compelling, and many countries are even increasing restrictions on watering by regulation. There are no competitors that are easy to use and cost effective. I would love to be proven wrong here because the world really needs us all. Personally, I have been scaling businesses in global markets for more than 15 years, and our VP of sales is well connected in our initial target market. Together with a multidisciplinary founding team, we are ready for the next stage. The interest from customers worldwide is overwhelming. We have a growing prospect list with numerous pilots conducted and more paid POCs ready to launch. Executing our plan will make us cash flow positive after two years, and we are securing sufficient working capital to get us there. We're raising now 50 million Norwegian kroners, and the funds will cover all activities to scale our technology commercialize and get to cash flow positive. I have a pocket full of dreams and a passionate team with a good idea of how to realize them. If you can accelerate our journey with ideas and advice, relationships and networks, or a pocket of equity, come see me in meeting room eight or reach out to me at any time. So you're creating an artificial topsoil layer where there is none. And how long does it last? Does it erode as well as uh, the previous layer did? We are not pr uh, uh, creating a top layer. So um, our substance is, uh, is a liquid um, based on minerals and clay that actually percolates down into the soil with a natural uh, electrostatic binder to the minerals in the soil itself so that we can control how deep we treat it down to the root zone level. So um, um, it's, uh, it's not a top, uh, top layer at all. It's, mm. uh, it's really treating it to re, uh, revigorate the soil with water holding capacity. And um, I mean, we have to be in operation for longer to see, but for now we see with, uh, with uh, uh, a subscription plan on simple maintenance, uh, it's at least the projects that we have live lasted for five years. Okay. And can you grow anything in it? 
Um, it's, uh, it's completely chemical free, um, so it's only based on, uh, on, on mineral. Um, the main substance is clay and water, and uh, you can grow anything. We have uh, scientific validation by ICPA, a global uh, uh, research institution. Um, that has looked at, uh, in the first round, the first types of crops that we will be, uh, we'll be focused on. Uh, but we've tested on, on you know, anything from vegetables to carrots and all kinds of crops, trees, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and all greenery areas. Thank you. Thank you.